Hello, I am Dr. Nair. You are watching Biodesk. Today, in this video, we shall discuss phylum Cylindrata. Phylum Cylindrata is also called Nidaria. This is the simplest group of multicellular animals having division of labor. The term Cylindrata has been taken from Greek language, in which koilos means hollow and interon means intestine. The name Cylindrata was coined by Rodolf Leucord in 1847. These are considered as simplest metazoans having division of labor. Division of labor means particular cells unite to perform particular function. So, cells unite and perform particular function, this is called tissue, means first group of multicellular animals having tissues. This phylum is also called nidaria. Nidaria means nettle bearing. Nittle. The sense comes from needle. Needle bearing. They have a special stinging cells. And these stinging cells are for protection, offense, defense. So they are called nidarians. This phylum includes about 11,000 different species. And the common examples of this phylum are Hydra, Ovalia, Coralium, which is also called Cora, Metridium, Aurelia, the common name Jellyfish, Tubipora. So different members are under Cylindrata and they have two different forms. Some members are found in a tubular form, tube-like body while others are with ball-shaped body, umbrella-like body, like in jellyfish. Hydra is the most common freshwater cylindrate. It has tubular body and around the mouth several small thread-like structures are seen. These are the tentacles. Tentacles help in locomotion and food capturing. In phylum cylindrata, some members are free swimming while some others are sedentary, remaining fixed. Ovalia is sedentary in nature. So just keep the examples in the mind and then we can discuss the general characters of phylum cylindrata. Discussing general characters includes body organization, habit habitat and general life activities. So when we talk about body organization, the members of phylum cylindrata have tissue grade of body organization, the first group having tissues among multicellular animals. These are all aquatic, all found in water, mostly marine in seawater but a few are freshwater species also. Hydra freshwater, but jellyfish marine. These may be solitary or colonial. Solitary, living singly. Colonial, living in group. So some members live singly. Hydra, solitary animal. Jellyfish, solitary, but ovalia, colonial. Some are sedentary, some others are free swimming. So some remain fixed like Ovelia and like Hydra, several members are free swimming. Body wall is diploblastic. Remember the term diploblastic? Diploblastic means having two layers of germinal cells. And in the beginning, while discussing the characters considered in classification, we have discussed these terms previously. The two germinal layers are ectoderm and endoderm. This condition called diploblastic and diploblastic condition is found in two different groups, one porifera, another cylindrata. Here two cellular layers are outer epidermis and inner gastrodermis. 
mouth is generally surrounded by short and slender tentacles. The tentacles are the thin thread-like structures present around the mouth. So all around mouth tentacles are formed. And these tentacles help in locomotion and food capturing. When we see the tentacles minutely, in the tentacles certain special stinging cells are there. This type of stinging cells. And in the body wall, in cross section, here in the body wall we find two different layers of cells. These distinct layers are attached with each other by mesoglia, non-cellular substance. The ectoderm, outer layer, endoderm, inner layer. Here is the diagram of special stinging cells found in their tentacles. These are called nematocysts. When undischarged, a single cell in which we see nucleus, outside a small spine-like structure is there called nidocele. This one, undischarged nematocyst. When undischarged, the central cavity of the cell contains a long coiled thread. But when nematocyst is discharged, the inside thread comes out suddenly, having barbs or a spine-like structure. So this one, discharged nematocyst. The operculum opens and inside thread comes out, everted thread is used in offense and defense. Even to paralyze the prey, the nematocysts are also discharged. So these are poisonous stinging cells that one written here. Tentacles are provided with numerous peculiar stinging cells called nematocysts. Members of this phylum are acylomate. Acylomate means acylomate means having no body cavity, and the body has radial symmetry. Certain parts are arranged around a central axis, so radial symmetry. The body bears a central cavity called cilenteron. Remember the name, phylum cylentrata, hollow intestine-like body. So the central cavity called cylenteron and digestion takes place in this cavity. So this is also called gastrovascular cavity. In these individuals, digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. So some kind of food materials are digested inside the gastrovascular cavity means outside cell that is extracellular but some nutrients some materials ingested by the body cells and digested inside the cell so both types of digestion found in cylindrates in them circulatory respiratory and excretory organs are absent Respiration takes place through general body surface. Similarly, excretion of materials through a single opening. Reproduction is both asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction takes place by budding or fission, while sexual reproduction takes place by gametes. The members of this phylum show polymorphism. Poly means many and morph means form. When we see the different members of phylum cylindrata, some members are found as with tubular body and some with umbrella shaped body. So this particular phase or a stage of life called polyp and umbrella shaped body called medusa. Thus the members of this phylum are found in two different forms polyp and medusa and this is called 
polymorphism found in more than one form in some individuals these two forms alternate in the life cycle here about a skeleton is written a skeleton is generally present exoskeleton or endoskeleton and about polymorphism we have kept a point they show polymorphism as two types of individuals are found one is polyp another medusa polyp is the tubular and asexual stage while umbrella like stage is sexual stage in certain members life cycle shows alternation of generation means asexual and sexual phase alternately appear and similarly this polyp and medusa may be seen alternately in the generations so this is the example of alternation of generation found in ovelia ovelia itself is with tubular body this one polyp stage and during reproduction the medusae are formed medusae polyp is a sexual phase while medusae produce gametes sexual phase this one tubular body this one umbrella like body so when polyp reproduces medusae are formed and when medusae reproduce then again polyp form appears so this is called alternation of generation this is all about general characters of phylum sylentata in our next video we shall discuss the classification of phylum sylentata hope this session was useful and stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one thank you